So this is a tutorial for Mac only, where I'm gonna show you how to set up in OBS for streaming. And that's gonna include capturing from a webcam. That's gonna include capturing audio from a microphone for you speaking. That's also gonna include display capture. So capturing your screen and capturing the audio that's coming from your computer. So they're the four things, the webcam, the microphone, screen capture, and the audio. We're gonna put all of those into OBS so that you can stream it out to Twitch, to Facebook, to YouTube, wherever you want. As I say, this is a Mac only tutorial. So PC users, this isn't for you, unfortunately. I don't have a PC to show you this, but let's dive in. First things first, I'm assuming that you have OBS installed. So if you haven't, then go ahead and install OBS, which you can find a link for in the description below. The next thing that you need to have installed is something called I Show You Audio Capture. Now, what that's gonna let us do is route the audio from our computer into OBS so that people that are watching your stream can hear what's actually happening on your computer. So there's a link below. Um, make sure you download the right version for your operating system. Check out uh, the links uh, that I put in the description below. Make sure that you're installing the right one, whether you're on Mojave, Catalina, or another operating system. Make sure you've got the right one and you've got it installed. And you'll know that you have it installed when you can see it as an option in here. So I can see I showed you audio capture just there. That's how you'll know that you've got it installed properly. The next thing that we need to do is come to the spotlight search and I'm gonna type audio MIDI setup. Now, what we need to do um, while you're streaming, you're gonna probably want to be able to hear your own microphone and you're gonna to want to be able to hear the game's capture. So we need to create a multi output device that contains those two things for you to listen to. The way to do that is hit this little plus just down here and create multi output device. Let's get rid of that. Now on this multi output device, I've already got one set up, but I've got a couple actually. What you need to do is select whatever you're listening back through. If I didn't have this Focusrite Scarlet plugged in, I would select the built in output, but I'm using a Focusrite Scarlet 8i6. That's what I've got my headphones and speakers plugged into. Um, you could be using a different one, that's fine. Make sure that whatever you're listening back through is selected, whether it's built in or a, or a sound card, and also select I show you audio capture. So you want to be able to listen back and you want I show you audio capture in there. Rename this multi output device something like streaming. Okay, so I've renamed that streaming. And what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna close this. That's all set up as long as you've got those two selected. Drift correction doesn't matter, don't worry about that. The next thing that we're gonna get, do is go into system preferences, sound, and make sure that our output is set to this streaming device that we've just selected. Okay, so output, set to streaming. That means that the computer's audio, so Spotify, YouTube, maybe your games, whatever you're using, uh, the audio is gonna be sent to I show you audio capture. Don't worry if this doesn't make any sense, um, we will get this set up for you. So now that that's set up, we're gonna jump into OBS and start putting all of this together. Uh, I'm also assuming that you've got a webcam plugged in or you've got a web webcam on the computer that you're using. So. First thing that we're gonna do inside OBS just here, click, we're gonna make sure that this microphone, uh, mic aux input, is receiving audio from the microphone that you have plugged in, okay? So I've got a Shure SM7B here. I'm going to click on this little settings dial and go to properties. I need to select where the audio is coming from. It's coming from my Scarlett because I've got this microphone plugged into my Scarlett. If you've got a USB microphone, select that. Um, if you've got a microphone plugged into um, an, a Behringer interface or a different interface, select your audio interface um, and then select OK. Then we want to select Advanced Audio Properties. This button is going to be a lifesaver for you. You want to make sure that Mono is selected. If you look at the meter at the moment, you're only seeing audio bouncing up and down on the left side. That's not what we want because people will then only hear you in the left headphone. So, and I'm plugged into input one of my Scarlett just for reference. When we hit mono, we can see that you can hear me now through both speakers or both headphones. It won't make a difference to what you're hearing in this video. 
This is just for what's going to be streaming. So that's all set up properly. We can see that the audio, if I tap the microphone, cool, that audio is coming through nicely. Uh, the next thing that I want to do is rename this. It's really important to keep everything organized in here. It's going to make your life so much easier when you're streaming. So I'm going to type SM7B because that's what my microphone's called. Cool. So we've got that set up as an audio source. Now let's start to build up the rest of the elements like the screen, the webcam, all that kind of stuff and the computer audio. So let's get some display capture in here. So display capture, let's call this screen. And this is simply the screen that you're using. So you can just select which screen you're using. If you've got multiple, uh, that's me recording there. And then this is the screen that I want to broadcast. Okay, so I've got a, a second screen just down here, which I'm, I could use for OBS and, and keeping stuff that I don't want people to see. I want people to see this screen. So there we go. That's set up. The next thing that I want, uh, I want people to be able to hear my microphone. So add existing SM7B. You see the renaming is really important. There we go. So currently people can see the screen and they can hear my voice. What they can't see or hear is they can't, <clears throat> they can't hear the computer's audio at the moment. We still need to set that up. So we're going to go to audio input capture and we're going to create a new, we're going to call this computer audio and the device is I show you audio capture. Okay. Now in order to test that this computer audio is working, what I'm going to do is come into system preferences, sound and sound effects. And I want the, I want this play sound effects through to be set to screen cap or whatever you called your multi output device that we just set up. And when I click on these, we're going to see the meter under computer audio uh, register some audio. Great, so that means that whatever's happening on my computer in terms of sound is being sent to the stream, which is exactly what we want. So with this scene selected, um, people are able to um, hear my voice, they're able to hear the computer sound, and they're able to see the screen. So the last thing to add in would be the webcam. So we want um, video capture device, webcam. I'm using <clears throat> this webcam. There we go. And now you can resize this and put it wherever you like. So I could pop this just in here. There we go, that's everything set up. So the last thing that I'll point out is inside your game, if you have to select an audio output for your game, what you're going to want to select is streaming or whatever you call the multi output device that we made at the start of the video. That means that you're going to hear it through your listening system. So you'll be able to hear the game's output in your headphones and whoever's listening on the stream will be able to hear your computer sound as well. Um, just another sort of bonus tip at the end with these scenes, I'm going to rename this scene screen and webcam. I'm also going to set up a new scene, which is talking head. So if I just want to address the camera directly, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create this new scene and I'm going to add in video capture device, add an existing one and add the webcam. Great. Let's put that to size. Cool. So now this is what people are going to see when I'm streaming. Also, I need them to hear me. So we need audio input capture existing SM7B. So there we go. Now, um, when I've got this talking head one selected, people are able to hear me and they're able to see me. They're not able to hear the computer sound. Um, they're just able to see whatever I've got selected in this scene. If I then said, cool, today I'm going to be demonstrating X, Y, Z. Let's jump over onto the computer and show you how to do that. I would select this and now people are able to see my screen and the computer audio on top of the webcam and my audio from this microphone. So that's the streaming setup that I use 
final little bonus tip for you, something that I like to do to get rid of that awkward bit at the start of streaming where um, you may have clicked start stream and then there's a bit of a pause because there's a lag and then you decide that you want to start talking and it's, it's just a bit of an awkward way to start stream. What I tend to do is I create a new scene called intro and there's a couple of things that I add into this. Number one, I went on to Canva dot com and I made a really simple design like this this is the one for the end of the stream that I use um, but I would just type in here once this loads stream starting shortly okay download that excuse me download that as an image And then in this intro scene, hit the plus, insert image, select, uh, call that intro. And this is gonna ask us to select it from somewhere on our computer. So I've got this under starting soon. Okay, so this is just an image that I downloaded from Canva. You could make this in Photoshop if you want to, but Canva, it's a lot easier and it's free. Um, live stream starting soon. Okay. The other thing that I'm going to add into this scene is computer audio. So audio input capture, computer audio. Let's put this scene to the top just to keep the OCD nice and in check. Um, so when I've got this intro scene selected, what people are able to see is just that image. What they're able to hear is just the computer audio. Um, I haven't added my microphone into this on purpose because I might be clearing my throat, you know, just getting ready to stream. Um, I would then go onto Facebook where I normally stream or YouTube and hit start streaming and I would have some music playing in the background. Be careful of copyright, play some of your own music or some free music uh, that isn't gonna get you a copyright strike. Um, but I'll be playing music and what I'll then do is when I'm ready to start talking, I'll turn this computer audio down, either in here or in iTunes, wherever I'm playing it from. And then I can do this. I can say, right, I'm ready to start talking. Hey, how's it going? Welcome to this live stream. And then I can start talking and there's none of that awkward kind of gap or pause. Um, so massively recommend having that intro thing set up. It just makes everything a lot smoother when you, when you go live at the beginning. Um, so, I hope that's been helpful for you guys. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. Um, this was filmed during the coronavirus sort of uh, pandemic situation that's going on and lots and lots of people are looking to live stream. That's why I've thrown this together a little bit quickly. It's not as sort of polished and edited as a lot of my other videos, um, but hopefully <clears throat> this is helpful for you and gets you up and running with what you need to do.